The ground shook overnight as the Israeli military carried out at least 150 powerful airstrikes against the Gaza Strip. Israeli tanks fired into Gaza too, but didn't enter. Thousands of Israeli troops remain deployed around the edges of Gaza for a possible invasion. Israel is trying to stop this. Gaza is run by Islamic hardliners from Hamas, who have fired nearly 2,000 rockets at Israel this week. Israel is mostly protected by its state-of-the-art Iron Dome missile defense system. But Hamas has been testing its limits, firing in clusters, hoping a few rockets will make it through. And they have, killing Israeli civilians. While millions in Israel have been rushing to shelters, including American Maya Danin. So when you hear a siren, you get up immediately. Usually it's been in the middle of the night lately. So we get out of bed, we go down to the bomb shelter. This is what sparked this latest round of an old and still very bitter conflict. On Monday, as Palestinians were praying in Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque during the final days of Ramadan, Israeli troops moved in to disperse them with force. Israel says it was responding to rock throwing. Palestinians say it was part of a pattern of intensified harassment in the disputed holy city. But this escalation has something new that has Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu scared. Palestinian Israeli citizens 20% of the population have started to express their anger, too, some even siding with Hamas. Vigilante violence has broken out, Jews ambushing Arabs, Arabs beating Jews. In mixed towns now, Israelis are keeping watch for fellow citizens. And this has the potential to be far more dangerous to Israel than even rockets fired from afar. So far, at least eight Israelis have been killed in this latest round of violence and far more Palestinians, nearly 120, because in Gaza they don't have the benefits of an Iron Dome missile defense system or bomb shelters. Savannah. Richard, as you well know, as you covered it, the last time the violence was this bad was seven years ago in the Gaza war, but this time it's happened so much more quickly. A lot of it is because of the advances in social media. That that particular incident uh, at the Al-Aqsa Mosque quickly spread, uh, and people got angry. But there's also a changed dynamic. Uh, the Palestinians felt for the last four years under President Trump that their case was ignored, that their rights uh, and situation actually got worse. Uh, and now it seems they, they want to reassert themselves, make sure the world has not forget them, uh, forgotten about them. And, and they see this as an opportunity to, to change that balance a little bit now that there's also a, a new administration and things have been getting very, very tough for the Palestinians. And, and, and now we'll see how the Israelis respond to all these rockets. All right. Our foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, in Tel Aviv for us this morning. Thank you, Richard. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.